right guys, I wanted to show you a fixture that I just put together for milling reliefs on the liners of slip joints. Or in the case of a linerless slip joint like this one, uh, just milling directly into the scale uh, or the cover itself. Now uh, this is my first slip joint, I made this last week. And I'm pretty happy with how it came out, but uh, there is one little area uh, that's kind of an annoyance and uh, something that a lot of uh, well-known slip joint makers uh, account for, uh, and that's these little rub marks. On the Ricasso area. And uh, what that's caused from is from rubbing the inside of the liners, or in this case uh, just the scales themselves. Uh, from opening and closing and uh, it really doesn't affect the function of the knife at all uh, it's more of an aesthetics issue but uh, it's so easy to avoid and eliminate uh, that I really just uh, felt like I should make a little fixture for that and uh, start doing that on my next slip joint so what I have here uh, very basic very simple uh, it's just a very cheap rotary table uh, that I got off of eBay for about $60, $65. Uh, it's probably not that precise or accurate at all uh, if you're trying to uh, do a real intricate operation. Uh, but for this rudimentary function here, uh, or for the purposes we're going to use it for, uh, it's more than adequate. So what I did, I just made a sacrificial table here uh, that I counterboard for the T-bolts and the nuts uh, to fix it directly onto the table. Uh, and then I found center after kind of milling away uh, the outer material here. I found the center for the pivot and then kind of bored from the bottom side some 5 16 bolts that I had lying around uh, and a little piece of scrap micarta for the clamp. Uh, that'll hold the scale in place uh, while I have it centered on the pivot here. And uh, then it's just a simple matter of lining up my end mill uh, to the end of the spring there, turning the mill on, uh, plunging down about seven to ten thousandths, and uh, running the table around while removing that material. So again, real basic, real simple, uh, but should be very effective for doing what I needed to do, uh, which is remove that material that's going to rub on the Ricasso and mark up my blades so I see the effect there you, know, you get kind of a standoff almost a fixed washer and uh, what this does not only does it eliminate uh, the rub marks but it will eliminate a little bit of friction as well and give you almost kind of a washer there uh, give you a much smoother opening slip joint so uh, that's it guys, uh, real basic, real simple, uh, actually had to make a second one as I was counter boring for my bolts and uh, counter bore the wrong hole there, uh, so I really didn't have enough material left uh, to feel comfortable bolting this down from this side. Uh, but what I have now here is just a template anyhow uh, that I can use for different size pivots. Uh, I can make a couple more of these. Uh, if I damage this one, uh, I'll have a template to replace it as well. So uh, that's it. I know there's different ways of doing that. I know a lot of makers uh, just simply use a clamping block uh, that sits over a pivot in their vise uh, and just run it around by hand. Uh, that's perfectly acceptable and works just as well. Uh, but I got this idea uh, actually from another knife maker uh, whose name unfortunately escapes me. Uh, he had a tutorial posted on his website uh, that showed him using a rotary table. Uh, just clamped directly uh, to the table itself, but uh, pretty much the same idea. Uh, he clamped that down and used it to mill his liners. So uh, that's it guys, uh, just trying to improve. Uh, my next slip joint when I get around to making it and uh, I think this will really take things up a notch uh, as far as the fit and finish of my folders and uh, that's pretty much it so thanks for watching guys